guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> it's crazy to be saying that because it's been 10 months since I've filmed any YouTube video and it's, I'm super excited to be posting again. And this is what we're making in today's tutorial, cute little baby polar bear. I won't talk too much, this is what we're making in today's tutorial. Exactly what I made in today's tutorial. I make it and then I do the um, intro. So yeah, thanks for clicking on this video. Let's get straight into the things that you'll be needing. Alright, so first you will need your safety eyes and safety nose. I use these ones from Amazon. Today I'll be using this size, which I think is 6mm or 8 Either one of those sizes. And then these little dog, dog noses or any type of animal nose that have the little patterns on them. So there's that. And then you'll be needing white bands today. That's the only colour of band that you'll be needing. This is what I had left of a 600 pack, but there was also a sun taken out of the 600 pack. So it does not take a full pack of 600 bands to make this design. Little baby polar bear. And then you'll need your backs to your um, safety eyes and safety nose. They're just stored in this container. Ignore the rest of it. This was my old safety, safety eye container. You also need a little C clip or S clip or any type of stitch marker. And then you'll just need your hook. And sorry, and then you'll also be needing some stuffing. You won't be needing very much at all. And if you like to cut little slits in your um, safety eye backings, you'll need a pair of scissors. I just use these fishing scissors, makes it a lot easier. And yeah. So, let's get straight into the tutorial. Alright, let's get started. So, what we're going to start off with is our legs, which I've already done three off camera. So I'm going to show you how to do that now, and then I'll let you guys pause the video and do the rest off camera. Well, not off camera, but just pause the video. Alright, so we're going to start off with the magic ring of four. Oh yeah, magic ring with four stitches in it. So we're going to start off with wrapping our band around our hook twice to create the magic ring. We're going to take another band and we're going to pull the magic ring over the hook and then reclaim back to our hook. And we're going to put, take the first band through the second band, just like so. And you can do a little twist motion so then it won't hook onto the other band. Now we're going to go back, so we're going to turn our back, hook backwards this way and go back into those three loops that we had earlier. We're going to take another band and we're going to pull it through the three loops only, holding this band on your hook. We're going to take that band that's now on your finger and put it back onto the hook. Like so. Now we have three bands. One, two, three. So we're going to take the first band through the second and third. Like so. Now we have two stitches on our magic ring. Now we're going to go back into the three loops and we're going to do another one. Pull through. Reclaim. First band through the second and third. I'm going to do one more to make four. Like so. Okay, so now we can take both sides and kind of wriggle it around just so that it's... Whoops. <laughs> just so it's a bit even. Not very even, but you know, you only have four stitches on it. Normally you do have six stitches, but for this one it's really small legs, so... Okay, so we're going to take our little stitch marker, C-clip, and we're going to put it on the band that's on our hook. Just on one side of the band will do. Okay, now we go into the first stitch. So we're not going back into those three loops, we're just going to the first stitch right here. First little chain. Okay, so now what we are doing is an increase round. So, at the end of this row we should have eight stitches. And right now we should have four. So we're going to go in, and to do an increase we do two stitches in the same chain. So we're going to pull the band through like we did for the magic ring. And we're going to take the first band through the second and third. We're going to go back in to that first stitch to do the increase. Do the same thing. And that's an increase right there. Now just to do a... Sorry, we're not doing a single crochet at the moment. Just increases at the moment. So, we've got our first increase. We need to do four of those. So, increase the next stitch. Next one. 
and the last stitch. So if you count your stitches, you should have eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Take the C clip that was on the last band and pop it onto the new band that's on your hook. And now we can go on to the next row. So the next row will be a single crochet round. So you should still have eight stitches by the end of this round. So we're gonna go into the first chain and just pull through one band through each chain. to reach over. You might hear some background noises because I've got the window open slightly and there's birds chirping and police sounds and just lots of sounds so I apologize for that. It's always done with a single crochet round. There was no really, I mean it was pretty simple to do that round. You should have eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So now we are going to be doing a decrease round. So for this, listen to each stitch because some of them are different than others. So we're going to go into the first chain, and the first chain is a single crochet. So just a single stitch in the single chain. And then the next one is a decrease. We're going to take the front stitch of the first chain and the back stitch of the next chain over. Pull the band through, like so. Now we're going to go to the next chain, that's also going to be a single crochet. Then the next two chains is going to be a decrease. And then the last two chains are just single crochet. Hope that made sense. Okay, so Put your stitch marker onto the band that's on your hook. And now we've got our last row, which is single crochet all. So we're just gonna single crochet all and we should have six stitches at the moment. So one, two, three, four, five, and the last stitch is the one that's got our stitch marker on it, and that's six. Awesome. So now you can take off your stitch marker, and with this last stitch, undo it, so you've got the two stitches. Take the back band off of that stitch, because we're going to make this one a tie-off. So we're going to take the one loop, the back loop of that one, and we're going to pull it through this loop, take the other loop, and we're going to tie it off. Like so. Now, that corresponding stitch that's right next to it on the other side we're going to put a um a band through that as well so we can tie it off on the body later okay now what we're going to do is we're going to push the bottom up a little bit and we're going to kind of squeeze it into a foot shape and it does stay it just takes a little bit of shaping and then you're done with the foot so once you have done all of your feet which i'll let you pause the video now um and get all the feet done. You can rewind if you'd like. There's also a pattern in the description box, so you can use that if you would like. But yeah, so just make all those and then come back to me. So now what we're going to do is the ears. So the ears are definitely the most simple thing to do with this design. It's just a magic ring with four stitches in it. So we're gonna take a band and wrap it around our hook twice to create three loops. I'm just looking at the pattern for a sec. Okay, so we're taking a band and we're pulling it through. We clean back onto your hook and then go back in to three loops. Take another band, pull it through, pull through, and then go back into the cap band going less into the detail because I have shown you how to do this before and if you are still stuck with how to do a magic ring or anything to do with Lumigurumi there is a um, 
beginner's guide on my YouTube channel. I'll link in the description box for you guys. So we have four now. So one, two, three, and the one that's on your hook. And that is the ear. What we're gonna do, holding me one second. Okay, so to finish off the ear, what we're gonna be doing is going back into that cap band, pulling this band through all that's on your hook and doing a slip knot, like so. And we're gonna go back into the other side of the, um, of the, um, sorry, <laughs> magic ring, and do another on that side. Technically it's just two together, but that is an ear for you. And that's how we're gonna attach it on to the head later. So I'm just gonna make another one with you on camera because they were nice and quick and easy and I haven't done it on the second one yet. There. Have a bend around twice to create three loops. Pull a single band through. Take another band. Pull it through the magic ring. Another one. One, two, three. Four. What was that for? One, two, three, and four. Okay, so now we're gonna go back into the loop and do a tie off band and then another tie off band. But we're kind of tying it off that way so it stays that way. And there's a the second ear, nice and quick. So now, what you should have is two ears and four little legs. Now we can begin on the head. Oh, sorry, it was off camera. We can begin on the head now. So that's what you should have. Okay, so to start the head, we're gonna do another magic ring of four stitches. So, become pretty good at doing four stitched magic rings. I have been around twice to create three loops on your hook. Pull a band through those three loops and then pull those bands through each other. And then back into the cap band, which I call this a cap band or a magic ring or just three loops. So, if that's confusing, <laughs> sorry. So that's two, and we're gonna do another one. Three and four. Okay, so next we're gonna do the first row. But before we do the first row, we're gonna grab our C clip or S clip or any type of stitch marker. And pop that on the band that's around our hook. Okay, so now we're gonna do single crochet increase round, which we should have six stitches by the end of this round. So, single crochet. Huh. Sorry. So, single crochet in the first one. And then a increase in the next. The stitches can be pretty far apart sometimes. And then a single. And an increase in the last stitch. Let me can fix it up a bit. It's a little bit mangled. Okay. That is a little nose. That little part of the head. Okay. My oh goodness. I'm trying to push it back. So just try to shape it up a bit if you want. Okay, now we're gonna go on to the next row which is single crochet, single crochet, increase. So, first stitch is single crochet. And then the next stitch is also single crochet. And then we have an increase. Then we have another single crochet 
another single crochet. And an increase. Okay, take your stitch marker off and place some of the bandits on your hook. Okay, so now we're going to do row three, which is single crochet increase. But at the end of this round, the end of the round that we just did, we should have eight stitches at the moment. And then next round, which is single crochet increase, we should have 12 stitches. So we're going to go into the first chain and we're going to do a single crochet. And then an increase. And another single crochet. And an increase. I'm just going to try to stretch out the bands a little bit. Don't stretch them, just kind of fold them back on each other. So it'll start shaping out the hair a little bit more. And then single. Then another increase. And another single. Excuse my sniffling, I'm sorry. I have a bit of hay fever this morning. And then attach your balance around your hook. Sorry, attach the C-clip, that's... You know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so now we can go on to row four. Okay, so I had to just go off camera to um, fix my mistake, but... Um, it was alright, that row was single crochet increase, but I just missed a stitch, so you should have ended that row with an increase. So you should have 12 stitches right now, so we'll count that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So you should have 12 stitches. So make sure you're not finishing on a single crochet. Cool, okay. So now we're going to do row 4. So on row four, what we're doing is we're going to do single crochets until we hit the sixth and seventh stitch. And on those two stitches, we're going to be doing an increase. So, let's get started. So, single crochet, we'll count them. One, two, three. Five, and then the sixth and seventh stitch we're doing in an increase. So an increase in this one. This is just to give some definition to the face. So an increase in the sixth and then the seventh stitch as well. And then we are single crocheting back. Sorry, the head just looks really big. <laughs> okay, so now we should have fourteen stitches. So it gives just a little bit more of a pop up here. We've got our cute little nose. It looks very different to this one. But that's because that's got safety eyes and stuff in it, which does change the shape of the head. So now, in the pattern, for me at least, it'll, I'll change it when it's in the description, it does say to do a single crochet around. 
but I'm actually going to skip row five because I feel like that makes the head a little bit too big for the body and the legs. So we're going to go straight on to row six, six, but for you in the description box, it should already be row six. So, well, row six should be your row five. So we're doing row five right now. There was honestly no need to say that, but I just thought I'd say that because it is changed to what this looks like and this is what I posted on my Instagram and the head's too low down as well for this one and I'm going to bring the body a little bit more like here so the head's more like that kind of not really but anyway let's continue so we're going to do um single crochet until stitch six and seven and then decrease at sti stitches six and seven together and we should have 13 stitches so we're just taking basically what we just did away because it's just to give a little bit of definition to the head and that's really it. So we're gonna do single crochet until the sixth and seventh stitch. Two, three, <clears throat> four, five, and then we're doing the sixth and seventh stitch right here in a decrease. And then we're just single crocheting the rest. Actually, I feel like this time, hold on, let me just, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So it could be any of those really. Okay, yeah, it's fine. Sorry. Continue. So just single crocheting back to the rest of the head. And we clean the C-clip back onto the bounce new hook. So now, we have something that looks like this. So, looking good. Okay, so now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the safety eyes on. And then we're going to do single crochet, decrease, and then we're going to stuff, and then we're going to decrease all. So, we're going to put the safety eyes in now. I think I'm going to do small eyes for this one. You can do bigger ones to make it look a bit cuter, but I think I prefer the smaller eyes. So I'm going to do these ones, I think. This size, I think these are um, either, they'll be smaller than eight. But it, I don't have any sizing for this one. I just got this one off, I believe, Amazon. But Australian, um, the AU, Amazon website. But anyways, so make sure you have your stitch marker in that band so it doesn't start undoing. And now you can pick what area you want your head to be. What, sorry, <laughs> what um, front facing area that you want your head to be. So my nose is kind of pointing up that way, so I'm going to do my face right here. So, just kind of pop them wherever I think they look best. Yeah, I like this size of for safety eyes. Okay, just making sure they're even, they are not even. So I'm just going to figure out where that even spot is. So sometimes you got to get into, like, sorry, got to get into one band. And then go back in to make it even. It can be a bit tricky sometimes. Okay, I'm gonna get this all evened up and I'll be right back with you. All right, so this is a difference with the heads. This one's definitely a lot smaller and I like the look of it a lot better. So we have the nose put in place now. I put the little, little nose in place and the eyes are in place as well. So now I'm just going to attach them all with the um, safety pin 
safety not safety pins sorry safety eye backings which i've got to go get okay so i've got my nose and my eyes attached it does look a little bit funky right now um but it is also pretty cute at the same time but they do normally have a pretty broad face going down that way and not as much of a slim looking kind of flicked out nose which is what the nose will do when you do a safety pin nose you can also do it with bands um you just kind of wrap it around and around and around and around to create a nose but that normally breaks for me which is quite annoying but yeah so there's a little safety eyes and face and nose because all the little safety stuff um that you pin them together with normally does um make it bigger the face it'll kind of make it look a bit bigger than it was so that's why I decided to do a smaller face but now we're gonna pop on the little ears so this part can take a while but I'll show you how to do one and then I'll do the next one off camera so figure out where you want them I think I want mine right about there so to do that we're gonna go into this stitch right here I'm going to take one band, which I'm going to do the one that is facing that way. So the, the ears have this way where they're facing that way and they're pointing out one way. So this way they're kind of closed in that way, which I'm going to use that one for the front way. That may have made no sense and I apologize. <laughs> and then you take the other one through here. And then you just tie it in the back. So you turn it inside out and you just tie a knot between the two loops. Not too tight because then it'll do this weird pinched thing. There you go, there's one little ear and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. And I'm just gonna quickly do that off camera. Okay, so we're looking pretty adorable right now. <laughs> So we've got all those in the back now. Okay, so now we are going to, so just make sure you've got those little bands that you have should be secure. You should have done a double knot to make sure they don't come undone. And now we're going to finish it off. So, so we should have attached the ears, done the eyes and the nose. So, now we are going to continue on. So. We now have, so it says, put the safety eyes on and ears, and then row seven, which is going to be single crochet decrease, and then we're going to be decreasing all. So, first stitch is just a single, and then we're doing a decrease. And then after this round we stuff, and then we'll finish it off. Single. Decrease. Sorry, ignore the wind. And then a whoop, single decrease. Make sure you do these stitches really loosely and not tugging at the stitch because otherwise you can um, make it look a bit holy in the back. Okay, so that was a decrease, and then we're doing a single. Then a decrease, and then finishing it off with a single. Okay, now we're going to stuff. We're going to use the tiniest bit of stuffing because you don't want to stuff it too much, because otherwise the head will look a little bit weird. Didn't even need that much. just to keep its shape and to even chuck a bit of shape in there if you need it and if it looks a little bit too big or just weird looking then try to fix it so when you like the look of it then you can start stitching it off so now we're gonna be doing decreasing and all Again, really loosely stitching this because you do not want holes or anything in the back. 
because if you tightly pull the bands when stitching, then you'll have holes. And we don't want holes. <laughs> going until you have no more stitches to do. You can take off the C-clip at this point, don't really need it. Okay, now what we can do is we go into the next stitch and we just tie it off with a single stitch like so. Now it looks really pointy and we in the back we fix that by doing this pulling it up from the back, taking this and then pulling it into the body and it'll fix itself up. There you go. And if you have any more pokey outy bands or anything like that, just pull them into the, to the head. Like this band right here. Sorry, I'm not coming. When I concentrate, I tend to go off camera. There you go. There's a little head for you. Adorable. <laughs> I love the difference. So much of a difference when it's just one row, you know? Anyways. So now we have all the little legs and a little head. Oh my god, it's such a cute little head. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to move on to the body. Okay, so we're gonna make a row of seven around the head. Sorry, I just had to gather my thoughts for a sec with the body because it might have, might have had to change because of how small the head is now. But we're not gonna change it. I think we're gonna just do a row of six or seven. So it's just depending on how many you do or how big you want the body or how small you want the body. So. We're going to take this little band here, so around about midway through the body. So we've got a head here, and I'm going to take this little band here. It's a bit too high up, to be honest. So I'm going to go another band lower. Okay, I'm going to try to find which band it is. Give me a second. Okay, so I found the midway point of the head. And now we're going to pull the band through. It really does matter where you put that first band. And then... Next one, just kind of do a row around of six. Okay, that's a little bit too far out. <laughs> Sorry, this is going to take me a little while. So we've got one. Two. Three. Where's the first one? That's first one, and then we will do six and then seven. So we've got six, and then sorry, we've got seven there. So we're gonna do the last one somewhere here. To finish it up. That'll do. Okay, so we're going to double check that that's dead center in the middle. <clears throat> so that's kind of what you want at the back there. I feel like I need mine a little bit lower, so I'm going to fix that off camera. Alright, so um, I've just figured it out and I'm going to be doing six stitches around. So I've done the six stitches just around that area 
and try to make them really close together. The eyes look a little bit diagonal, but there was no fix in that. <laughs> okay, so once you have your sti six stitches, we're only doing six at the moment, that's what we're gonna leave it at here, and it should be somewhere around there. So it's kind of like the head's going up and you've got the little neck coming out that way. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, it's a bit hard to see this, and I apologize for that. Sorry, camera's moved. <laughs> but what we're gonna do is go into this stitch right here, which is the first, it's like the, um, it's the first stitch, but it's the loop of it. So the first stitch is actually here, but I'm doing the little, little one that we don't normally use when we're grooming, but for this time we are. So what we're doing is we're grabbing, sorry, I'm gonna quickly, before I do that, I'm gonna grab my stitch marker, wherever that went, and pop that on the, bench, on the hook, and then we can go into our first stitch. And we're gonna just do a single crochet. And for the first row, we are doing two rows, so row two, so this is row one that we already did, and then we're doing single crochet increase. So the first row is single, and then we get single crochet in the first one, and then we're doing increase in the next. Okay, and then a single, and then increase. Okay, and then a single, and an increase, and then finish with a single. So, using that bend that we don't usually use at the start helps us to get the seven stitches to go with my pattern. <coughs> But I just wanted it to have a bit of a smaller neck because it's a smaller head. Okay, so I'm kind of adapting the pattern as we go, which I really like how it's looking. So, okay, so now what we're doing is single crochet all and then single crochet, single crochet increase. So we'll just go row by row. So, row three now is what we're up to, and we're gonna do a single crochet round. So, just a single stitch in each stitch. And I'll tell you the amount of stitches you have at the end of this row. It just doesn't say it on this part of the of the um, pattern. Okay, so now the last stitch. Perfect. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is just kind of stretch out the bands a little bit, just so we can loom a bit easier. And that's looking pretty good so far. So that's kind of what the other one looked like. We're doing the exact same body because it's a, it's a good size. So. Just trying to adapt it for the head and neck of the head. Okay, so now what we're doing is single crochet, single crochet increase. So two single crochets and then an increase. So single crochet. So I'll tell you how much we have at the moment. How many stitches? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So she has ten stitches at the moment. Second single crochet, and then we're doing an increase. Single crochet, single crochet, and then an increase. Single crochet, single crochet, and then increase.
and then just finish off with a single crochet. And I think that's how big the buddy is. Okay. That's as big as the buddy will get. And then we're doing row five to row eight, four single crochet rounds of, yeah, single crochet. So four rows of single crochet. And then we stuff and then we'll just decrease all until shut. And then we'll attach the legs and then we'll be done. So come back to me when you've done your four rows of single crochet, just single crochet, four rows, and pause the video here and I'll do mine off camera. Okay, so I finished up my rounds of single crochet and this is how we are looking. So now we are going to attach the little legs. So before we do that, because the cat band isn't as good as, because um, it can come undone, what we're going to do is because we're attaching the legs for a while, we're going to just kind of do a little loose-ish slip knot, just so we know it won't come undone. Okay, so now we're going to attach all the legs. So we're going to figure out where we want the legs, so we kind of flatten out the body like so. It has a little curvature shape to it, what it should look like. Okay, so we figure out where we want them. This one can go here, round about. So round about that one and that one. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put my hook through here, take a band and put it in through the body and then you can kind of let go of it. Just make sure you don't pull out the leg. And then we go into the next, sorry, if we go into the next little loop it's like exactly how we put in the ears. And then we do a, uh, we tie them on the inside. So just make sure you're happy with what that looks like. And we go on the inside of the body. And we just tie it up. Sorry if I'm going off camera. Ooh, you can pop it right way in again. Then you got one the leg attached. Now we do the next one. So pop that one there. Just make sure they're even. Do it the same way you did the other ones. Lost them. Just make sure it looks even with the other one, and it does. Okay, so now we're just trying to find which bands I'm tying together. There we go, found them. Just make sure you're not tying it from a different area. Hope not. Hold on. Sorry. Yeah, I was I was tying the right ones. Just make sure, you know. <laughs> the front legs are definitely the hardest ones to tie just because you gotta go through the whole body. Okay. So now we got our little legs attached, the front ones, and I'm gonna do the same thing for the back ones, but I'm just gonna do those off camera. Just to save a bit of time. Okay, so we have our little Baby polar bear now with all of his legs attached. We're getting there. Now we're gonna stuff him. So just a little bit of stuffing. Definitely need it in the body because it makes it more round and just overall nice looking. There is a hair, that's gross. Obviously not too much, but I feel like that's a good amount. And you don't want to be able to see it through the stitches, and that's I think pretty much perfect. Okay, so now what we're going to do is decrease all stitches until it's shut. So take that slip knot off and now we're just going to decrease all stitches basically. Oh, camera keeps falling, sorry. <laughs> I've got a stand for it now, but it just it never wants to work with me. We 
mean, it's a good stand, but it doesn't stand out properly. So just single, sorry, decrease all the way around until you have no more stitches to decrease. And then we will do a tail. It's definitely one of the more simpler sides of this tutorial. I mean, this is a pretty simple design. Just has some, I guess there's quite a lot of attaching to do. Like the legs and the, hold on, did I attach that foot right? Hold up. Sorry. Yeah, it'll be right. Okay, and then we go into our last stitch, pull through everything, and do a slip knot, just like so. Then we can pull that, sorry, pull that into the body. Let's make a flat bum. And then... So I just have this little utensil that I use to poke the... Little, uh, sorry, <laughs> got focus for a sec there. Just poke everything back in there, like stuffing and everything like that. Okay. Cute. Looking good. So that's our little baby polar bear. Very cute. Now we're gonna do a little tail. For the tail, what I like to do is grab heaps of little bands. Oh, heaps of bands, <laughs> not little. I mean, I know they're little because they're rainbow moon bands. But I grabbed about one, two, three, about, about five. And then we're gonna wrap them once around our hook, like so. And if you like the look of that, then go with that. If you want a bit more, add some more bands. If you want less, take away some of the bands. Completely up to you. Now, what I'm gonna do so I just pulled, sorry, I pulled a band through all of those loops. And I'm gonna, whoop, I'm gonna pop it on my finger for now. Like so. And now what we're gonna do is go through the back, grab a, two stitches or so that are in the middle and pull that band through and just tie it on. Then you've got a cute little tail. You can kind of spread it out a little bit, make it all sprouse, and take that little loose band, and then you can take this little thingy and just poke it in there. If you don't have that, then just continue um, just like dotting it through the body. And ta-da! There's our cute little baby polar bear. So cute. I know it has been a while since I uploaded a YouTube channel. Sorry, <laughs> a YouTube video. And I'm super excited to be posting again. And I've got plenty of other designs in mind and ready to design. So, that's the tutorial for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.